Brendan Eich, who ran Mozilla, maker of the popular Firefox web browser, stepped down after the uproar over a $1,000 donation he gave in 2008 to a group supporting an anti-gay marriage campaign. So we saw Andrew Sullivan, influential blogger, one of the earliest advocates of gay marriage, came out strongly against all this, calling it McCarthyism. Andrew writing, he will, now, uh, will he now be forced to walk through the streets in shame? Why not stocks? If this is the gay rights movement today, then count me out. Interesting to me there, Speaker Gingrich, is Andrew Sullivan sounded a little bit like you on this. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I thought that his entire article, in fact, was very strong. But people ought to recognize, if you're a young faculty member, in a lot of places, if you're a young member of a news department, and you have the wrong views, meaning conservative, you have no career. This is just the most open, blatant example of the new fascism which says, if you don't agree with us 100%, we have the right to punish you, but, but where unless, would you unless you're like Hillary and like Barack Obama and you recant. So they both had the same view in 2008 as he did. But there's well, a they... difference between actively campaigning to right. define marriage as being between one man and one woman and not being a supporter of marriage. So you should lose your job. Equality. You should lose your job if you have a different view. Aside. No, I'm simply saying that there's a distinction yeah. between where President Obama and Hillary Clinton are on this issue. They weren't financing that referendum, to be clear. But, but where would you draw the line? I mean, what if his came out against uh, interracial marriage? Would that be... I think the question you've got to ask yourself is, how will, are you willing to live in an open, tolerant society, or do you have to impose your views at the cost of people's jobs? Do you have to, for example, drive the Catholics out of having an adoption service in Massachusetts? Because they actually insist on giving but only the heterosexual But you forget that today some people can still be fired because they're gay on the job. And that's why okay. it's important and now they that we have fired. fair standards. He stepped no. aside. And now they he can be fired. No. Steps he was look. pressured by a public campaign. This was not voluntary. This was overt pressure. But I do agree with Andrew Sullivan that we, we have to, you know, be very careful that we're not practicing a new McCarthyism. With All this. right. On that note, we are unfortunately out of time.